Welcome to TalkersOfGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more video game reviews. And today we are going to be reviewing Emio, the Smiling Man from the series, The Famicom Detective Club. As always, we give you a brief synopsis, so without further ado, here we go. Student Asuke Sasaki has been found dead in a chilling fashion with a smiley face paper bag over his head. This unselling visage bears a striking resemblance to a recurring clue in a string line of unsolved murders from 18 years ago, as well as the urban legend, The Smiley Man, a serial killer said to grant his victims a permanent smile. Does The Smiley Man even really exist, or is a new culprit continuing his legacy? As members of the Yusuke uh, Detective Agency, you've been tasked with investigating the events that led to the student's death. Along the way, scrutinizing the clues and testimonies you gather from potential connections to the gruesome events of the past. Of course, this is completely spoiler free, so I will not be getting into major plot details. But I will have to say that, yes, when we all we all had the reaction when we first saw the trailer for this game that, oh, my God, Nintendo is going to give us a horror game, a original IP horror game, something we've been really waiting for that's going to fill the void of fatal frame which they still have not done much with it that's a different story anyway then we get the actual trailer and it turns out to be another famcon detective club game and a lot for a lot of people they kind of just soured on it and just wrote it off completely i'm here to tell you folks do not write this game off this is the visual novel game of the year hands down no competition needed this game, this story was gripping. It holds you to the very beginning, to the very end. Really good details. I was on the edge throughout. Yes, there are some pacing moments where things slow down a bit to really, you know, do character development. But it was a stellar, stellar story. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's talk a little bit about the gameplay not much on the gameplay front because this is a really classic style visual novel. So it falls more into more of just dialogue and just choosing the dialogue, investigating to move the story along. There is one section of the game which I did like, which is called Review, where you're, you and your partner are reviewing the clues and information that you gather from prime suspects, witnesses, and testimonies from people that know the victims. And you had to piece together things in the best way possible. And that's pretty much the gist of the game. You have the review. You look around. Uh, there's like that point and click element in this game where you have to look at certain objects when you enter a room. You have things such as thinking. So the gameplay is not something that is just something to really scream at the top of the hills like oh my god this is such a very innovative visual novel game it really isn't it's a really paint by numbers visual novel in terms of gameplay and presentation but what makes this so good is the fact that that story is so good because the gameplay is so simplistic the story makes you want to keep playing it because you want to know who the hell is the smiling man what sickle does this kills people by strangulation and then puts a bag over their head to put a a permanent smile on there that's i mean that's how good the story is but so for the gameplay purposes wise there are things that you can do by checking out clues revisiting certain locations when the game prompts you to and just really giving you that detective feel i would say it's in the vein of phoenix right when it comes to the investigation aspects of it but it, i will say that this is pretty paint by numbers visual novel gameplay storytelling it's just basically selecting the proper prompt to really keep the story going and that's pretty much it for the gameplay as far as the graphics go though whoo this is a beautiful looking game man this is artistic to a t love the look of the graphics here especially the use of live 2d which really amps the animation front and this is not no there's no still images where it's just a backdrop with the character and the characters not moving or not being expressive enough the characters look great the designs look great the expressions the movement looks great so it really helps that when we have visual novels games out there that use the live 2d engine or unreal engine or whatever engine to really animate because it really makes it focus compared to the old school days where it's just a still image or 
the character appears on screen and you just hear the voices, but you don't see nothing really moving to really show expression. I thought they did a really good job with the animation and the graphics, but here is an example of the sound, folks. あ、佐々木くんのことを知っている人は確かにね。だったらうん。今回の事件がここエミオはすっかり有名人ね。本当だね。でも佐々木くんのことを思うとちょっとね。Sound is pretty good. Fully voice acted, which really helps. There's no English dub for this, but it's fully voice acted in Japanese. And honestly, the performances are really good. Really hammers it home. Really makes you feel the tone, that sense of dread. That there's moments in here where it's funny. There's moments in here where it's lighthearted. There's moments in here where it's really sad, really dramatic, especially when you get to learn a lot of the characters' backstories and as it really hits home. So I thought the performances did really good. So as for my final thoughts, the smiling man put a smile on my face. It was really good. Gripping, uh sad at times, emotional at times, triumphant at times, tense at times, some really great characters from the main leads to our supporting characters, twists and turns throughout the game, even from the beginning, I was like is this person is this person the villain? Is this person doing it? So rating wise, definitely giving it a buy it. It's either buy, wait for sale, or skip it. This is definitely a buy it. This was a knockout. Best visual novel of the year. Hopefully it could be a contender for at least storytelling, narrative, game of the year, uh, or story of the year. This was excellent. MEO the Smiler Man is a must get if you have a Nintendo Switch. This is Justin from Otakosgeeks.com saying don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Later days, make sure you pick this game up. Peace.